Hello and welcome to the Friday, February 10th, 2023 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Xavier today looked at the interesting Python malware that takes screenshots of a victim's system. Now, what's different in this particular case is that it's not just taking a screenshot every minute or something like this, and uh, it's not really waiting for a command from a command control server to take the screenshot. Instead, it actually interacts with the Windows events system and does take screenshots whenever a user clicks with the mouse on something, and then just uh, takes a screenshot of the area around the mouse click. This is of course a lot more efficient and more likely to get you interesting screenshots as a part of uh, your data collection efforts without overwhelming you with tons of data that you would get if you would get of the same kind of information with just uh, taking uh, entire screenshots uh, every second, every minute, and of course, many of them wouldn't really show anything interesting or uh, different. Interesting approach here, and of course, all written in uh, Python, which uh, makes it, uh, well, at least within the Windows environment, rather uh, portable. The event hooks and such are Windows specific. And then we got a patch for KeyPass, the password manager. The issue here is, uh, vulnerability that uh, was disclosed about a week ago. Now, whether or not it was actually a vulnerability was a little bit disputed. The problem here was that the attacker who would be able to overwrite KeyPass's configuration file could uh, trigger and clear text export of uh, the password database as KeyPass started. The reason this wasn't really considered a vulnerability by the KeyPass developers was that, well, in order to overwrite this file, you already have to have the rights of that particular user running a KeyPass. Nevertheless, they now have a CVE number for it. They also do have a patch for it. The CVE number is 2023-24055. The patch pretty much just prevents uh, any sort of silent export of uh, the uh, password database. Instead, whenever you trigger an export of database of the password database, you do have to re-enter your master key in order uh, to confirm uh, the export. This is just uh, sort of one line in a fairly uh, large uh, change log, so there's still not. I'm still not sure myself how serious I should take this vulnerability. Certainly interesting and the uh, patch appears to be sufficient. And looks like it hackers creativity as far as Google ads go. Well, is uh, not declining. The latest example comes from Sentinel one in a blog post. Uh, they documented how malicious Google ads are being used to fish AWS uh, credentials. Apparently, if you are Googling uh, for a fairly in August terms like just AWS, you will get an ad that claims to link you to the AWS console. The URL is even sort of a little bit similar to what you often see here, us2-eat instead of east aws.blogspot.com and it then will lead you to a lookalike login page. Now, multi-factor authentication uh, should be a must uh, for an account uh, like that. Uh, That should limit the impact of uh, these kind of phishing scams. Uh, But still, I hear there are still some people that don't use multi-factor authentication At this point, there is uh, no evidence that any of these phishing uh, pages specifically tries to intercept the second factor. And for anybody using Apache Kafka, uh, be aware there is a remote code execution vulnerability that was patched, CVE 2023-25194. It's a good old Java deserialization issue, but however, in order to exploit it, you do need to be authenticated. I would consider Kafka definitely sort of very widely used, so something that you should pay attention to and likely patch quickly. 
And well, that's it for today. And I forgot to mention yesterday, it's the 14th anniversary of uh, this podcast. So thanks to all the listeners. Thanks to everybody helping the audience uh, grow. That's certainly important to keep this going. So recommend it to friends, enemies, your kids, friends and enemies, neighbors, whether you like them or not. Thanks, everybody, uh, for uh, listening and uh, talk to you again on Monday. Bye.